This is James Tucker 13 here, and this is going to be the second episode of Transfer Talk. And it's just a, basically a series where I take a team and I uh, change their ratings on their cards to sort of what I think they'll be next uh, next season, but not exactly. Just mainly what their ratings should be based on this season. Um, and who should be starting next season. And the blue and red cards, like you'll see there, are the players that should be transferred into the club. Uh, last time I did was Real Madrid. Obviously, there wasn't much that I that I said they should do because their team's already basically perfect. Um, but I, I was going to do Liverpool today. I decided to do Manchester United just because Liverpool, uh, there's a couple players that I think they, uh, they should strengthen. The, in the positions, but Manchester United are a completely broken team in 7th place in the league after winning the title last season. Uh, some could blame Moyes. It's, I'd say it's probably half his fault and half uh, sort of sort of Ferguson's fault, but not really. Um, really, the team that Ferguson left for Moyes wasn't a very strong one, uh, but at the same time, he managed to win the league with it, so Moyes should have at least at least got top 4. Um, but anyways, these, this is what I think they should do. First off, they need to buy more midfielders, Gundogan and Vidal. They have a lot of money to spend, or at least they're supposed to be having a lot of money, uh, giving Moyes a lot of money to spend. And then uh, Mangala, Benatia in the defense, and then Walker at right back. Now, the center mids, that's obvious. Um, they don't really have any rock-solid center mids. Um, like, say, Modric or Alonso for Real Madrid. Uh, you know, they don't have any of those types of players. They have aging players. And Rooney isn't exactly a midfielder. Uh, he's more of a center forward, which is why I've actually put him there. I think they should run this formation next season. Van Persie's rating went down. Rooney's went up, uh, if you notice that. It's because I think that Rooney has done very well this season, but Van Persie kind of hasn't. Uh, it's kind of a down to bent um, injury at the same time. But anyways, so there's that, and then Mata is out on the left, because I, th I really think that he's better suited as an outside midfielder. Uh, he played there for Chelsea on occasion. When he first moved to Chelsea, he was straight up a left winger. Uh, that was when he left. Was it Valencia or Sevilla? I think it was Valencia. Him and David Silva both played there. Uh, but he was a left winger, and he also played left wing for Spain when he played for Spain uh, most of the time. And he did very well out there. That's where he gained his reputation and then uh, Chelsea sort of switched him to a midfielder, a central midfielder. Uh, and I think he's played well there, but not that amazingly. And he has put in a couple good performances for Manchester United, and he was supposed to be that solid midfielder they needed. But I really don't think it's worked out that way. I think that he needs to play out in that left mid role. And then they need to sign two center mids. Gundogan, Vidal, those are just two. I think they could also sign Kabai or... And Guarine, because Guarine's playing for Inter right now, um, and he's, I think he wanted out of Inter at some point, but they uh, didn't sell him, so I figured he, they, he could be able to go for him and could buy, because even though he says that he's perfectly fine with not playing at PSG right now, uh, I'd say he's, you know, it's more likely that he's a bit unhappy and would be perfectly fine moving to Manchester United, where he would at least get playing time. Um, but I don't know if PSG would sell him. And then Hanazai at the right mid. I think that he should start for most of the season. Nani uh, will still be there. I actually think they should sell a couple players. Valencia is one of them. Uh, but I, I'll get into that later. So the two right mids, Hanazai and Nani. I think they should split that 50-50. Hanazai should play half the games. Nani should play half the games. You know, maybe um, take him off or put him in as a substitute for different occasions. But, you know, start to develop him as a, as a player. He is showing great potential, one of the best youth players in the world. Uh, not really up there in the top ten, but you know he's like making his way up, and you know he is is making an impact on the team. Uh, he's had a couple of important goals, a couple of really good performances, and I think that they should start him uh, for, like I said, at least like one fourth of the games. He should start, and then come on the bench for a couple others. And the defense, ever staying because I don't really think there's a left back more suited for the position. Uh, but there is a player they sh I think they should sign, and that's Jethro Willems uh, for Netherlands and PSV. He is a uh, a pretty good left back. He's very young, uh, like in between 19 and 22, 
someone there, but you know, a, a youth left left back that's showing potential. And you know, in a couple of years, Willems could be in that uh, starting role, and then that'll be in a couple of years that Everett is uh, getting worse as a player. You know, just because he's getting older, so it's bound to happen. And then Mangala and Benati are just two solid center backs because Vidic is leaving. Uh, he's already signed a contract with Inter. He's leaving at the end of the season. That, that leaves him with Ferdinand and Smalling, uh, and then some of the uh, Johnny Evans. Uh, but none of them, I think, are really fit for that starting center back role to play every single game. So I think that Mangala and Benati had two solid players. Mangala pretty young, uh, and Benati having an amazing season season with Roma. And then Walker, he's inconsistent right back. They already have a very inconsistent right back, but Walker is a better inconsistent right back, uh, and has had moments of brilliance. Um, not really more towards the end of the season. He's had a couple of really big mistakes uh, for Tottenham, but I think that they, he still is showing potential as a player, and he could still do very well for Manchester United. And besides, there's not really that many world-class right backs uh, to choose from. Obviously, they're not going to be able to buy like Philip Long or Danny Alves, so I figure they should go for Kyle Walker. They definitely can't stick with Rafael. That's not going to work out. And then De Gea in goal because he will eventually be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Well, he already is, but you know, could be the best at some point. And he's had a relatively decent season. Um, you know, it's not really his fault that Manchester United gets scored on so much. You know, he's still still done well, but the just the way the team's been playing, he's still gotten scored on. But anyways, that is the bench. Uh, I'm not really going to go into too much detail about that. Um, Zaha, sh I think he'll be back on loan by the beginning of next season. If not, oh well. But the players not in there are Kagawa, Welbeck, um, Valencia, Young, and Fellaini. Now, the players that I think that they should sell, Valencia and Fellaini for sure. If they need to sell them, if they can't afford all of these players on the field, that need bought, then they need to sell Fellaini and Valencia, get a couple, uh, a couple extra million to pay for that. Obviously, it's gonna be more than that, you know. Um, and then I think they also maybe should sell Welbeck or Kawaga, but maybe not. I don't know. I think they they should probably keep them. Welbeck has had a relatively decent season when he's played. Same as Hernandez, who's on the bench. Uh, maybe they could sell one of them or loan one out, you know, because uh, Hernandez or Welbeck, neither of them can expect to start. Um, but anyways, so the players that should definitely be sold, Valencia and Fellaini, possibly young, uh, but it's debatable. They, uh, I'd say it's probably better for them to hold on to him and see if he can perform better the next season. But anyways, so that is uh, just about it. I'll do either Liverpool or... Borussia Dortmund or Atletico Madrid next episode. So anyways, that'll be the end of the video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.